Welcome into an all new Dolphins All Access. We are here in week four. Mike Cunho alongside Steve Goldstein at the Dolphins practice facility as we go through another week of preparations. This time, the Finns are headed up north to Buffalo to take on the dreaded Bills. Goldie, <laughs> how much, as a Dolphin fan, do you think, how much do you think these guys are looking forward to this game? especially knowing that the division, until they beat them, still runs through the Bills. Yeah, you know, they have to be looking forward to the opportunity. And that's what Mike McDaniel always talks about. As much as that locker room was wild on Sunday after they put up the 70 at home against Denver, yeah. Mike McDaniel talking to the team said a lot of nice things. He also said, this is only a third win. He made that yes. very clear. It doesn't matter if you win 7-6 or 70-20. to It's still only one win. Yeah. What an opportunity for the Dolphins. They're a game ahead of the Bills, so they can win this game. And I know it's only a quarter of the way through, but they'd be two up, and they'd also have them coming here yeah. for that last game of the season. So great opportunity, and Dolphin players have to be thrilled to try to, you know, make a statement here and go up to Buffalo and get the W. It's such a unique opportunity for them to grab a hold of the division the first month of the season and really have a stranglehold on it. Okay, let's talk about some injuries this week. Wednesday's practice, Jalen Phillips was not out there. He's dealing with the oblique injury. You worried about the Dolphins' defense? Seems like the bumps and bruises starting to add up. Yeah, you know, I'm not worried that much because the last time Jalen was out, as great as he is, yeah. Vic Fangio moves Andrew Van Ginkle outside, and the guy has the game of his life. Right, Six tackles, right. a sack, and he was all over the place. You know, the big thing for me, Mike, with this you know, long, grueling season, we've been talking about this since the preseason, whether mm -hmm. or not to play guys, is you need the bulk of the key guys healthy, after Thanksgiving. Yeah. You know, after that game against the Jets, you still have, what, four or five games left, then the playoffs. That's when you need them. So if it's a Teron Armstead missing a little time early, yeah. if it's Jalen Waddle sitting out a game against the Broncos where maybe he could have played, but he didn't. They scored 70, so that was okay. Uh, you know, not overly concerned about it because, as you said, these aren't majorly structural injuries. They are bumps and bruises. Yeah, they certainly are. And hopefully he, you know, he comes back. Connor Williams was another guy who did not practice Wednesday. We did see Jalen Waddell out there as well. We'll see if he comes through the concussion protocol. But I think that's probably trending in the direction that he's going to play. You mentioned Toronto Armstead for a second there because it was great to have him back on the field. You know, they say Tua gets the ball out quicker than anyone else, about two seconds. Mm -hmm. He probably has a little bit more time with Toronto Armstead there on the left side, even with Kendall Lamb. What would you make of Toronto Armstead's first game back? Yeah, he was terrific, you know, but, but the line was great even without him. Right. You have to give Kendall Lamb a lot of credit, a veteran guy who stepped in there, a left tackle. And Butch Berry, you know, maybe the Dolphins, after all these years, Mike, mm -hmm of changing those offensive line coaches, and you know they've been through a lot of them, sometimes two have. in a season. Yeah. You know, he knows Mike McDaniel's system, and you have to give him credit. And on that other side of the line, you know, a lot of people haven't talked about it because there haven't been any problems. But how about the job Austin Jackson is doing? A yeah. first-round pick that some people were ready to move on from, didn't know if he had it. He and Robert Hunt over on that other side. So, you know, with Armstead in there, it just adds that – you know, calming influence, Pro Bowl player, the veteran guy. And uh, it's nice to see because even when he wasn't in there for a couple of games, yeah. the line was still very good. And as you said, maybe one of the biggest factors is two is unloading that football so quickly. So quickly yeah. Those guys up front know they don't have to hold their block very long. You know Teron's feeling good, by the way, when he's getting in on the touchdown celebrations That's and right. dancing right in the middle of all of it. That's right. All right, so this <laughs> is an interesting matchup. Again, the Bills are actually favored, despite the Miami Dolphins' big 70-point outburst against the Broncos. Do you think that's right, that the Bills are favored by three? Do you, do you think that's still, hey, a healthy respect for this team? I think that's what it is. Yeah. I think it's a healthy respect for the guys that have been there, that have done that. They are the champs. They you know, I don't know if last year matters at all, but they did win two of the three games, though everyone was right down to the wire. Dolphins yeah. easily could have, you know, won all three of them. Um, but they're at home, and that's always worth, you know, two and a half, three points. So basically, I think everybody's looking at this game as a flat-out toss-up, yeah. and the Bills are favored by a couple of points because they're at home. If it's me, it is just so hard right now to pick against this Dolphins team right. in any game. I don't know, Buffalo, anybody else, any game they were going into – on Sunday, it's really hard to pick against them. You almost have to see it happen before you can do it, before you can see where some of the weaknesses are. This is pretty much a complete team. Even when they've had bad moments, like against the Chargers, they've figured out ways to correct things 
like run defense. It's been a lot of fun to watch this team come together so early in the season. And hey, listen, if the Dolphins get a third win on the road, oh. you got to feel so good about where they are, not just in the division, but in the conference, because the back end of the season, a lot of home games. And you know, it's hard to win coming down here in South Florida. It doesn't matter what time of year it is. You also look at the two games coming yeah. up, not looking ahead. Anybody beats anybody. Arizona beat Dallas this week. Yeah. But after this game on Sunday, it's the Giants in town. Carolina in town, not getting ahead of myself, as Aaron Rodgers once said, relax. <laughs> but I, I think we're looking at 6-0. Yeah, if the Miami Dolphins get the win on Sunday in Buffalo. It's possible. The Miami Dolphins right now at the moment are one of three teams still undefeated alongside the 49ers and the Eagles. Two teams in the last couple of years seem to be right in the mix at the end of the season. Uh, 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 quite a lot. As we know, the Eagles were in the Super Bowl last year. So we'll see how they do this week against the Bills, a game you can catch on CBS Miami again at 1 o'clock. Goldie, thank you so much. We will see you next week on Dolphins All Access.